<sighs> I feel really bad. Uh, I get sick every time I'm in Florida. I feel very sick, and Jeremiah felt sick today, and I let him spit a giant loogie in my mouth. So I, I threw up immediately, but I don't think I got it all up. Um, so that's what's going on with me. A redemption set sounds like I did bad and had it. I just didn't know the rules, so I just did bits. And um, I had to redo it. Anyway, I let him spit in my mouth for that too. I might be into, let's talk about weird fetishes. I might be into Jeremiah spitting in my, I might be into barfing. <laughs> Sorry, I won't just go into stand up right now. Okay, let's hear, let's do it. I hate you. I hate you already. I'm so tired. Good. Fuck you. Do it. You're a piece of shit. What? What the fuck? Sober cruises? Why are, I want everybody to explain why they're at, at do you, are you going on one? Your, mo your mom's an alcoholic, and you are gonna send her on a sober cruise? She wants to go on one. She wants to go on a, I, I would say, okay, what I would say about sober cruise is one, congrats for your mom trying to get better and finding something good to do for herself. Don't roll your eyes, I'm really proud of her. Let's call her right now. Um, two, sober cruise does sound like a little bit of like a contemporary um, Viking funeral, okay? <laughs> You just set out to see to yourself, so watch out for that. <laughs> sober cruise, right? You would go out, you're like, I'm going on a sober cruise, and you just, <laughs> da -da -da, whatever, the, whatever the Titanic song is, <laughs> and then she'll chuck herself off the side of it, right? That's what I would do. I hope your mom makes it back alive. <laughs> um, Nice, sober cruise. She's probably gonna do a little salsa, a little dancing, right? That's what old people do. This is how old people salsa dance. Um, what else would you do on a sober cruise? She's probably gonna suck some dick. <laughs> I went on a cruise one time. I was sober because I was underaged. My mom started fucking my dentist, um, a woman. And I was really upset about it. I didn't like, you know, I did, couldn't really say this out loud, but I didn't like that this woman was sticking her hands in my mom and then into my mouth. I really didn't like that. And my mom couldn't figure out like what my beef was. Like she was like, I don't know why you don't like my relationship with Tess. And I was like. <laughs> so then they took us all on the cruise to like bond her kids with my kid, with my, not my kids. Dude, you know what's funny? On this cruise, this is funny. They kept, it was actually, it was like a Caribbean cruise and they couldn't figure out what our moms were because it was like in the 90s. And I remember one guy came up to us and they were like, he was like, how do you two ladies know each other? And my mom is such a <laughs> She was like, why don't you take a guess? <laughs> and, and, the, and the waiter was like, oh, you, you two are your sisters. And my mom was like, not quite. And she's like, you, you're cousins. And she's like, nah, uh, uh And he was like, you hit her with your car and then you brought her a crew. I don't know, tell me. And I remember my mom being like, we're together. Like, we're dating. And I remember the server said two things that blew my mind. I was like, I must have been like 10 at the time. The server said, one, he goes, why aren't you wearing all leather? That, I thought that was so funny. First of all, we're in like the Bahamas. Like we're on a Caribbean in the heat. And they're like, why aren't you wearing a gimp suit? <laughs> and then the next question he said was, um, oh, where are their fathers? Like pointing to the kids. As if my mom was gonna like pull out a jar of shrunken heads and be like, you mean these guys? Huh? <laughs> um, so I was sober on that cruise. <laughs> that counts, dude, that fucking counts. All right, next. Self-diagnosed What? Self-diagnosed autistic people on TikTok. Do you know about my issue with this? Do you know about that? No. Really? Yeah. Are you, be honest. I'm honest, I was on TikTok all day though. You were on, I'm, I, I really have a, I have a knit to pick <laughs> with these, with these stimmers out here. First of all, all right, what, what's happening is kids are going on TikTok. 
not only are they getting di- are they diagno- diagnosing themselves as autistic, but they're also diagnosing themselves with tick, right? Where ticks and shit, where they're like, no, so now I call it tick tock, okay? <laughs> and if you go on TikTok and you say to a kid, hi, if you really, it's literally like, if you don't like the feeling of nails on a chalkboard, you might be autistic. You know what I mean? Or if you like sticking your hand in a bowl of dry rice and think that's satisfying, you're autistic. I'm like, that's the best feeling in the world and we all know that, okay? <laughs> We've all put our phone in rice and been like, dude, I could do this all day. Let's go, <laughs> let's go. So I hate that, all right? Because what does it mean to not be autistic? You're just completely devoid of liking any material against your face? That's crazy, right? You just can't pet a soft blanket or else you're fucking autistic, okay? All my friends now think they're autistic, so they think they're fucking special, and they'll say mean shit to me. They'll be like, you're shaped like a Lego man, and I'm like, fuck you, and they're like, sorry, I'm autistic. I'm like, no, you're <laughs> You're a fucking okay? I hate that. Two, I would like there to be a little bit, for, the other thing I don't like about the TikTok, so not only are normal people thinking they're autistic because they're like, they'll do things, like I'll be talking to somebody and they'll be like, with a pen or something, just like, and I'm like, could you stop? That's like incredibly annoying. And they're like, sorry, I'm autistic. And I'm like, no, you're fucking not. You're an asshole. I fucking hate you, okay? And then two, the other thing I hate about it is the people who are autistic are now going on TikTok and TikTok's like, you're special and deserve to be above ground. I hate that. <laughs> No, there are autistic people and they spent a long time in basements playing video game where they liked that, where they liked it, where they clicked and they're like, this feels good and I enjoy this. And now they're above ground going on dates with me and not telling me that they're fucking autistic and showing up and they're like, I know that I had really good banter over texting, but I actually can't make eye contact. And when I sit on the seat, I always have one ass cheek up in a weird way. So neither of us can be comfortable but TikTok told me it was cool to get on Hinge. (laughs) God, that pisses me off. Yeah, so that's how I feel about that. (laughs) I almost just spit on the stage, like with, (laughs) Um, okay, cool. So did that clear that up for you, baby girl? Nice. Do you think you're autistic? I'll tell you right now. You're not, I hate this. People at comedy shows are always like, I'm autistic. I'm like, no, you're not, you wouldn't be talking, okay? You wouldn't be talking, you'd be hiding under the table like a good little autistic child. <laughs> autistic kids are the ones that rub their dicks on things, or the one that's picking, you know what I mean? We know who they are. They got the big fat asses, we know who the autistic people are. <laughs> it drives me nuts, because they exist out there, and they're having, oh man. It pisses me off. I don't know what pisses me off. People pretending to be autistic or when autistic people are just around me. I hate that. <laughs> Masquerading as normal people. Get the fuck out of here. All right, sorry. Mosh Next. Pits. What? Mosh pits. Mosh pits. Okay. I love mosh pits, but lately I've been <laughs> finding that I'm too old for them. And that's starting to hurt my feelings. Huh? I know, you know, Ian Fidance, my good friend, is too old. And we, went, we go to a mosh pit the other day, we're in it, we're all in it, and there's like a bunch of comics like in their 30s. And at some point we're all like moshing. There's like little kids coming up to me like, yeah, and I'm like, yeah, okay. I'm like holding their foreheads back and they're like, yeah, yeah, and I'm like, all right, little guy, it's all right. And, and then I'm like, I'm like, what is going on? And I look and I see somebody crowd surfing holding a cane and I was like fuck Ian is crowd serving so I get under my friend and I'm I'm literally yelling at these little kids who are throwing fists being like he has a bad back he has a back off (laughs) it's so crazy I mean I'm addicted to them I love them I I had to go with some stupid bitch to a mosh pit and she was like can you just stay with me this is my first mosh and like the second we got in there I was like hold my bag and just like got in (laughs) dove head first um I like them I uh, I like pushing, my favorite thing is going in and I'd shove the biggest man possible and then I disappear into the back <laughs> and then he just starts throwing fists. Is that the light? Okay. Um, all right, what else do I have to say about mosh pits? They're cool, they get me too horny though. They really bone me up. I'm really into rough sex and boy howdy when I get into one of those things. Sometimes I really, and they're like, can this girl stop, stop slugging her vag all over the place? <laughs> We're just trying to enjoy some music and cry about our dads and she's, and I'm like, so am I. Um, all right. Okay, sorry, I can take one more now. 
What? <gasps> Thank you for saying that. I just got a new puppy. Um, you know about my new puppy? Her name is Coyote. She's a small beast, and I'm going to be John Wick, and she will be the attacker of anybody who approaches me. Um, she's very cute. I don't like that it's making me soft. Um, I don't like that I care about anything because now if I'm in like a car ride and people are like, buckle up, I used to be like, I don't care what happens to me. And now I'm like, well, I need to feed my baby. <laughs> um, I want to take her and I want to cut her little ears off and then I want to sew them together and then I want to shove them right in my ass, okay? I want to take her little body, I want to throw it out a window and then I want to run down all the flights of stairs, catch her before she falls and then plant her into the ground because she's so cute. I want to go home, I want to take each one of her little fat rolls and I want to send it right to prison, okay? You go to jail, you go to jail. Um, I also didn't realize getting a puppy, I feel like I've reached my final form because she's not a puppy. She really is like a wild, she's, she's a wild monster. And she's very cute, but she's vicious. And I thought that it would teach me to be responsible. It's not. I have loose prosciutto in my pocket right now. I have literally, we went to breakfast and I was like, who's got scraps of bacon? And they were like, Jesus, Jordan. I was like, give it to me. And now I just sit on the floors of hotel rooms and just eat. I, we fight over meat, okay? It's so funny. We'll sit there together. And I'm like, you don't need that much chicken. You don't need that. So it feels good. Um... What else about the puppy? I don't need a boyfriend now. It, I am having the intrusive thoughts. Um, I know that's not supposed to happen, but I was tearing apart like a rotisserie chicken the other day, and I did notice that as I was tearing apart the bones, they were a similar size to my puppy. And sometimes I hold her and I think I could rip your little bones apart <laughs> so easily. Um, so yeah, that's been tough, so I really resist. Um, that's a tough thing to do, but sometimes you just have to ah, not squeeze her little head off. Um, thank you for asking about my puppy. What? She looks like a coyote and her name is Coyote. Um, and one ear goes up and one ear goes down and I will shit upon her head. I will take her skull out and I will mash it in a mortise and pestle and then I will, okay? So I'm gonna go do that. Thank you guys, bye.